Hi there. We're making a little two-draw cabinet in the workshop this week with undermounted soft closed drawer runners, painted fascias and birch ply draw boxes. That's coming up next. This carcass is made from 18mm or 3 quarter inch MR MDF and has been cut to size and marked up in the usual way. Jointed for dominoes and primed. It's a simple cabinet comprising a base, two sides, two top rails and a loose top that overhangs the drawer fronts and will be scribed to fit during the installation. The drawer boxes are made entirely from birch ply, 12mm or half inch for the sides and base and 18mm or three quarter inch for the front and back and I'm using a mixture of materials I had in stock which I'm cutting to size and some that's been cut into strips for me by my timber yard that I'm simply cutting to length. The exact size of the drawer boxes is determined by both the size of the cabinet and the type of drawer runners you choose, so be sure to consult the instructions that come with your runners before cutting anything to size. So with all the, all the components for our drawers cut, both sides, front and back, uh, for two drawers, what we need to do now is run a groove around the base to take the uh, to take the base, and I'm actually going to use uh, my standard quarter inch grooving bit. Uh, we're actually using a half inch 12 mil base for this because the drawers need to be quite strong. So I'll just run two passes with this and adjust it in between. But the first thing we need to do is adjust uh, the height, and then we can do the depth. Now I've done a few of these, so I, I have a, a template that I've made before um, for a six inch shelf and a, and a groove. If you do a lot of this kind of thing, it's well worth keeping this sort of thing uh, to hand. So let's get the height set and then we can get the depth uh, with the fence. There's a million ways to do this, but a template makes it quick and easy to set the right height. Now, because I'm using plywood, uh, even birch ply, good, good quality ply like this, um, there's always a chance that you can get some tear out and that's the last thing you need on the inside of a drawer. So I'm gonna put a false fence on this, a sacrificial fence, uh, uh, just to help avoid that. But obviously to set the depth, I need to pack that out by what will be the depth of the fence in order to, uh, to set the correct depth here. So with our depth set, the fence locked in place and the router isolated, we're attaching a couple of strips of double-sided tape directly to the fence. Then, very carefully, and keeping our hands well away from the cutter, starting the router and bringing our sacrificial fence into the cutter and flush against the fence. Switching off the router and letting the cutter stop before pressing the false fence gently home and checking the depth against our template. Now we can set our featherboard in place and run a test piece, checking the quality of the finished cut. Not bad. Before carrying on and running through all our 12mm stock components. We need to reset the featherboard to accommodate our 18mm stock before running all of those draw parts through as well. Having completed our first pass on everything, we can reset the cutter height for our second pass. Carefully refitting our sacrificial fence before running our test piece through once more and checking it for fit against our draw base. Once we're happy, we can run a second pass through all our draw components, resetting our featherboard for the thicker stock as required. Now, the grass Dynapro runners I'm using in this project need the draw back to be cut to the internal height of the draw, and I'm referencing off the groove we just cut to make this easier. After that, it's a matter of sanding everything to take out any sharp or splintery edges and giving all our draw parts a coat of clear lacquer. I use a Junkers water-based floor lacquer for this, and our carcass parts can have a coat of water-based eggshell paint before setting everything aside to dry. Once touch dry, and these water paste paints don't take long, we can start to assemble our carcass in the usual way, using dominoes and plenty of glue. As usual, I'm giving the mating faces of the boards a quick rub over with abrasive to break the paint finish. And of course, I'll be adding a few screws to give some mechanical strength once everything is in place and clamped up. So 
so while the carcass there behind me is drying, one of the, uh, or the glue anyway, one of the things I do like to do just while uh, that's happening is just to make up one of the draw boxes, um, just put together dry and held together with tape. Doesn't have to be super strong, obviously. It's just to make sure that everything fits nicely. So we've got the draw runners just taped in here temporarily, round about the right place. They might need to go back a little bit. You can offer up the draw box. I'm happy that that fits. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So with all the glue set we can unclamp the carcass and bang in a few more screws for an extra bit of peace of mind before setting it aside and moving on to our drawer boxes. So here we are, we're going to start uh, gluing up our drawer box. It's not a difficult uh, thing to do but you do need kind of 15 hands, um, uh, uh, especially at the moment. All I'm doing is I'm just using glue and clamps and the, the reason for that will become clear later but obviously first I've got to take off all this tape that we had before and uh, we can progress it from there. So with our drawer components unbundled we start the glue up by running a bead of glue into the groove of the front and sides and around the ends of the drawer front before slotting the base into the groove and adding the drawer sides. Then clamping it all up, making sure the face sits nice and flush. As with the carcass, I've scuffed the lacquer finish where the sides butt against the ends of the front and back, just to give our glue more of a fighting chance. So with the front clamped up nice and tight, we can apply some glue around three sides of the drawer back before setting it in place and clamping it up. Again, making sure it's sitting nice and flush. With the clamps still in place, we can flip the assembly onto its front and with a belt and braces clamp in the centre, fix our half inch base to the draw back with countersunk screws. Before dropping the draw back flat again and putting some corner clamps in place. Once set, we can release the clamps and give the outside of the drawers a good sanding to remove any excess glue or high spots. Now that the drawers are off and all sanded smooth, all the glue is gone, what we're going to do, and you can do this with dominoes, you can do it with dowels as well, is we're just going to drive dominoes through the sides, pretty evenly spaced in here, but so that they're visible in this space. It's like using domino nails. Um, works really well. I think Jimmy DeResta did a, some drawers with them recently. Uh, I mean, they're called dommy drawers. They've been around for, for a long, long time. With the draw box clamped to the bench, we cut domino mortises straight through our draw sides into the back and the front. With all four corners cut, we can offer up our 5 by 30 mil dominoes, applying plenty of glue, and then hammering them home in the usual way. Once the glue is set, we can trim them back and then sand them flush with the sides. With both draw boxes done, we can flip them over and fit the runner clips. First to the front and then to the back. So the only other thing that remains for the draw boxes now is to drill the fronts through so that we can attach the, the draw fronts onto them that are screwed straight through from the back. Uh, and if you're doing that you might as well make up a, a little jig, a little template out of MDF. And it's quick and easy to drill all the way through. And for the other side, just flip it over and do the same again. Drilling again. It's not 
going to end well. And I'm going to end the video here for today. It's gone on quite long enough. Uh, be sure to join me next week when we'll fit the runners and the draw boxes, the fascias, the knobs, the plinth, the infills and the top, all that good stuff coming up next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week. Same time, same place, same channel. Until then, you take care.